This video will give a brief overview of the types of anomalies we observe on Earth's surface, which you may not have been aware of. I encourage you to pause on any of the images. I won't be explaining each one here. For a more in-depth look, there's a longer version of this video posted in the description. First up, old grid. I'm using this term to describe any grid or polygonal pattern of ditches, grooves, mounds, vegetation, or low walls that appears to be old and often in disrepair. Next up, we have patchy patterns, which can take on a variety of looks and is comprised of low walls of stacked stones, grooves, mounds, or indentations where the land has been worked over. Strange patterns. This could encompass a lot, including the other categories on this list. Here I'm referring to any number of weird features as seen from satellite image in Google Earth. Weird patterns in similar themes can be seen all over the world, possibly suggesting a global effort by a central entity. Out of place channels are another thing we observe. Often we see gratuitously many straight waterways in random orientations. These are most common near coasts and rivers. Bumps are something we usually see along channels, but not always. They are likely mounds of dirt from when the channel was first created. Okay, cartoonish rivers. I use this term to describe river systems with odd proportions and unnatural bends and turns. In some cases, it looks like someone was clumsily mimicking natural patterns with artificial means and not trying very hard to cover that fact up or hide their tracks. Wildlife preserves. Wildlife refuges, reserves, sanctuaries, protected wetlands, and nature areas. I include this as its own category because these areas in particular so often contain strange patterns, old grid, weird channels, etc. Also, we have very long lines inexplicably etched into the surface around the planet, usually not seeming to serve any purpose. Sometimes they're straight, sometimes they meander or start and stop on and off. They may be grooves or raised mounds or cleared areas or sometimes made of stacked rocks. Now let's consider sets of parallel lines. They may be wavy or straight, and occur in multiple orientations, often in conjunction with other weird patterns. We might of course assume that these lines are simply left by standard modern activity, but on closer inspection, this does not appear to be the case. They are likely left by some as yet unknown effort to resurface the land on a massive scale, albeit in a very odd way. Also, we have sheared flat land. Many areas look like they may have been leveled or sheared flat across, possibly including mesas. There may also be cliff sides which have been artificially sheared vertically. Streaks, aka beach ridges or coastal dunes, are a common pattern we see along coasts. They are most likely a natural phenomenon, but in some cases I suspect that this natural pattern has been artificially mimicked using high technology. We may also be dealing with artificially sculpted coastlines. It's possible that entire coastlines or stretches of coast were artificially shaped using unknown means. Often we can see some type of path that appears to have been left behind by this sculpting process. Perhaps the same technology which created the strange patterns and channels on land 
is also responsible for these coastal anomalies. The ocean floor may also sport some anomalies, and on a very large scale. I haven't spent too much time studying this aspect, but there are certainly many examples of what look like artificial looking edits to the ocean floor. Large biology may be a factor as well. Miles wide body parts and tree stumps could be a part of our landscape, which of course we can't account for. Stone circles, walls, and geoglyphs are another ubiquitous phenomenon. Rocks are stacked or arranged to form both coherent and incoherent structures. The formations are suggestive of many different possible purposes, but some are so absurd that we are left wondering if they are in some sense just for show or at least non-functional. The massive scale also suggests that they are not created by the modern era of human activity. Strange tracks in stone. All around the world we find what look like tracks of some kind through solid stone. But then we also observe strange variations which suggest that they are not tracks at all. And then, of course, we have architectural and civilizational anomalies. The sheer volume of inexplicable structures suggests that our history has been carefully managed in a very weird and elaborate way. And maybe in some cases these anomalies are not even the remains of legitimate civilizations from a bygone era, but rather they are a set of contrived, goofy structures inserted into history to give humans a false sense of context. Of course, there are many more categories of anomalies we could consider, and the categories considered in this video overlap quite a bit. This video only scratches the surface, pun intended, and a few of the examples shown in this video may be duds or misjudgments, but I think you will agree that when considered together, these striking examples hint at a unified project, perhaps by a single author or party, to resurface the earth and or litter the earth with a bunch of meaningless patterns of gibberish. These anomalies just don't add up, and that may be the point, at least in part. Again, check the link in the description to see a more in-depth version of this video with further analysis of these and additional examples. I hope my voice was sufficiently monotone to convey my excitement over this exciting material. Thank you.